Keith Mercer. A little background on me, I was an inner city kid from Washington, D.C. I grew up around extreme violence, uh, poverty, um, lack of education, and I didn't want to be that person. So I had to figure out a way to help myself as well as my family. Man, I, half of my youth, I can remember growing up without electricity. You know, I didn't always have water, but I always had, I had God in my life, and I had, in the back of my mind, I, I, I wanted to be better. I knew it was something out there. I was just looking for it. As I got over, I realized it was my education. So I, I had to come up with a plan to, to be able to, to remove myself from the situation. So I used athletics. Mr. Mercer played football for the University of Nebraska Cornhuskers. So when I went to Nebraska, it really changed my whole world. It changed my whole world because most people know Coach Osborne as, yeah, we won championships because of the wins and losses. As a player, the best thing that Coach Osborne gave us was is he helped us learn. He taught us, again, intentional teaching. He taught us how to be better people, um, the importance of our education, and to let us know that one day you're going to have to put the ball down. Then what? Um, he taught us teamwork, um, believe it or not, to help us develop as people. Who were some transition people in your life? Um, I, you know, I, have, I had a lot of people in my life that invested time in me, that challenged me to be better. Um, it was difficult, but as one of my uh, great historians, uh, Frederick Douglass uh, um, said, one of his famous quotes of, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. So, I mean, you, you're going to have adversity in life. I mean, we're human beings, not perfect beings. We're going to have adversity in your life. I mean, I remember one day, I think I was nine, and my, well, my godmother, um, Mama Taylor, gave me a book to read. She said, Keith, I want you to read this book. And I asked her, I said, well, why do you want me to read this book? And she said, Keith, most successful people are readers. And I knew I wanted it to be successful. I read the book, picked the book up, read the book. To make a long story short, it challenged me then to read another book, then to read another book, then to read another book. So um, I, again, through athletics, I said, well, what do I need to do to be able to play athletics? Well, you need education. What did football teach you about leadership? This world is a team, believe it or not. We're all a team and we all have value and we bring our value to the table. And that was the part of, of be, you know, being able to be at a university like Nebraska when I was told growing up that I, I couldn't do that. Um, I wasn't big enough, I wasn't fast enough, I wasn't smart enough. But Coach Osborne and the coaching staff and the whole university and my teammates, they believed in me for me to play a role. And that's the reason why I opened up my own academy, uh, Mercer Elite Athletic Academy, because I wanted to be able to give back. Um, I wanted to be able to mentor, to be able to teach leadership, to be able to uplift and inspire people. Uh, remember in life, it's not, it's not what we have, it's what we give to others that really matters. You know, life is not fair. It's what you make it. You know, so you work hard, you be a good person, and then you help people. Be a good listener, because you can hear it and not listen. Be a good listener, and then understand too that you have a voice. We all have a voice. Um, but we want to be able to use that in a positive way and uplift. Um, we all got more in common than we don't. And I think people want to sometimes look at, oh, well, whether it's what's on the outside. No, it, it, what's on the outside doesn't matter. It's what value do you bring to it. Um, the leadership in life. You know, we don't need to, for, to wait to the top. We can lead from here, which makes your community better. You lead in your household, makes your household better. Being able to listen to your parents, being able to listen to your teachers. You have a team now. It's just a matter of being able to listen, being able to be open, and then allowing your teachers to teach you.